the GFT uh, has in fact been seized uh, by common criminals uh, who are refusing to release, uh, relinquish control of the union by allowing elections to be conducted. This statement by Robert Koss, former Federation of Teachers Senior Director of Field Services, comes shortly after a third complaint filed to the U.S. Department of Labor against GFT. The third complaint filed since last Wednesday. This time, the complaint was filed by Edward Quintaniza, a school bus driver from Alutiig Bus Drivers Union. Quintaniza, also goes by the name Quinn, is alleging that GFT President Matt Rector concealed and refused to conduct an election in February of 2009 for the chairperson and vice chairperson of the Alutiig School Bus Drivers Union. According to Quinn, instead of an election, Rector simply appointed a chair and vice chair. Koss was a GFT employee for over nine years, says. I was there every day, and I cannot recall Matt Rector conducting an election since he was elected president. Um, it, you know, if we go back far enough, there, there may have been uh, such elections, but uh, at this moment, I cannot recall Matt Rector ever conducting an election uh, for union officers. Koss says in protest, Mr. Quintaniza and 18 other bus drivers properly filed a petition in March of 2009 to object the union's concealed election. These drivers filed a petition in accordance with the constitution of the GFT, and the executive council of the GFT simply ignored uh, the constitutional process, which required that they conduct an election under those circumstances. Koss says right now this is a serious problem because the GFT is being run by officers who were not elected. If no election was conducted, I don't think these guys have any authority to be accessing union funds, uh, to be conducting union business or negotiating contracts with uh, private sector employers or with the government of Guam. Yesterday, Rector announced Jonathan Diaz as Costa's replacement as field representative to handle all the case files for the GFT members. According to Koss, this chore will be overwhelming for someone who will walk into this position cold without a transition phase. Any issue that was remotely related to their working conditions, uh, the union took. And so uh, there's, a, there's a wide variety of cases here, all of which very important to the individual clients. Uh, many of these cases uh, affected large groups of employees, such as the teacher's furlough case. There were 1,800 teachers uh, affected by that case. I suspect they're going to have a very difficult time now uh, with the courts and with that case. Koss says Barry Mead of the Guam Community College sent an email to David Strom, legal counsel of the American Federation of Teachers, based in Washington, D.C., Mead is asking Strom to remove the four officers of GFT. According to Mead, Strom is very alarmed about what is taking place on Guam. David Macaluso, PNC News.